Hello, hello YouTube, welcome to Howie Space Program. I am here in the boardroom of Howie Space Program. Um, basically, I'm thinking we're a bit low on funds and we need science. We need to progress so that we can use new parts and stuff. And I found a, a couple of things, I've been clicking around, and I want to do the fundraising campaign. I think it'll be really good um, because it takes some of our reputation that we get from flights, but it transforms it into money which I think would be good, especially with we want to now start doing bigger launches, um, as I shall tell you in a couple of minutes' time. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to notch this up a few... Oh, we cannot afford a, enough setup, not enough reputation. But we can do a 10%. 10, 15, oh, we can do 15. It takes 15% reputation, yield 7.3 funds for each one unit of reputation. I think we do it. we we'll get money. Yes. Are you sure you want to make active this strategy? It can't be modified. Cost 96 reputation to start. No refunds. Yes, let's do it. Yes! Cool, that'll get us some money. Very nice. And there was this other one, aggressive negotiations. You, you basically, you, it, sort of the opposite. So instead of costing reputation to give you money, this costs reputation to make the stuff a bit cheaper. And I don't know. I didn't really compare them, I just thought this was better. Um, so yeah, we, we're going to raise ourselves some money, but also, um, in... Which, which part was it? No, that's where we just were. <laughs> I'm still getting to learn to navigate our, our blimmin' space station. Uh, anyway, yes, so back to the contracts. And I know what I want to do. I want to escape the atmosphere. Yes, I do. And I know it's quite a big goal. I mean, like, it's going to cost us a lot. We're going to have... It, it's... Wow, there's actually a penalty for failure? 12,000? Gosh. Alright, well, we better we better do well then. But it'd be amazing if we can do it. Basically, I, th I believe the atmosphere finishes at 60,000. So we need to get over 60,000 metres. Uh, on Kerbin, that's true. I don't know if that's real, true in the real world. No idea, not the, not the foggiest. Um, says Cipritron 1. No, I don't want to do that. Radial decoupler. Oh, we've already tried that. Yes, I think we can do that one. Um, that'll get us uh, a bit of bonus like for using the decoupler. Let's give that a go. We can use that in our build, I'm sure. So we want to mm -hmm. accept mm -hmm. that. Yep. Uh, what else we got? Stability enhancer? No. I don't know what what the what the stability enhancer is. No idea. I guess it'll give us, mm -hmm. us give mm -hmm. it to us once we accept. Um, radial mount parachute whilst in flight. Mm, can I be bothered to use that? You do have to use it at these. We could use that on the way back down, I guess. Yeah. All right. Let's add that into our plan as well. Maybe we can do that. Yeah. Let's add that. Oh, hang on. That's a high failure. Um, if we don't do it, we we lose six thousand because it gives us two. So, oh, I'm not sure because I don't know what speeds we'll be coming back into the uh, atmosphere at. Maybe want to wait for the future. Yeah, we'll save that just in case. Um, so we won't do that one for now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Visual surveys. No. All right, let's choose escape the atmosphere because that's our big one that we want to try. Yes. So yeah, we want to try to d d try and do this decoupler one, and also escape the atmosphere! Oh yes, let's escape the atmosphere, let's go build ourselves a ship! <laughs> okay, here we are, in the building centre, and uh, shall we choose one of our previous ships as a... Uh, ooh, what have we got? Minibug 4 was quite good. Let's have a look at it. Maybe we can use it as a basis. We do have to get out the atmosphere now. We do want to use the... Right, let's get rid of these firstly. I want to get rid of these winglets. Uh, there we go. Get rid of those. And you guys, get rid of those. Yeah, because don't need those. Now, this area is annoying. Let's pop it there for now. So it's sort of central. Um, now, uh, the parachute. I'm going to take that off the top. Because I believe now we have a radial one. Oh, okay, I don't have a radio parachute. I must have that must be another time. Alright, never mind, let's pop it back on. Right, now how are we gonna escape the atmosphere? We want plenty of fuel. Nice big fuel tank, because we want to be able to get back into the atmosphere. Okay, now I wonder can you add 
solid fuel boost is on top of solid fuel. You can. Or below. Oh, so we could burn one set and then burn a second set. Oh yes, let's do that. Oh, hang on, let's decouple them. Okay, so this is going to cost a fortune, <laughs> this build. It is absolutely going to cost a fortune. Pop some decouplers on there. And on there. Okay, another couple of these, because these are really good for getting us. Okay, so we've got these two fire first. Then we decouple them together. Then these two fire. I wonder, can we... I'm just, I want to test something, because these two count as one thing. I'm wondering if... If we make it symmetrical. Pop that. Yes, it does! Okay, so that can be, that can go as once. That keeps things nice and simple. Good. Okay, we want that. So we'll do the same with this. Fires them together. Good! Okay. Yeah, good. So those two go, when they're done, they they fly off, then those two go, we're done, we can eject them off, and then we use our nice liquid fuel rocket. I might I'm worried about weight, but I might add a tiny I wanna swap that for a big or well, maybe we can eh? Is that symmetrical? I find it really hard to tell if it's symmetrical or not. Yeah, close enough. Right, want that, but we want to get rid of that. I'm going to have two large fuel tanks. Yes, looking good. Okay, now let's pop this back. Oh, oh, put it back. Uh, uh, undo, undo. <laughs> um, whoops, what have I done? Oh, well, who cares? Let's move these back down. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. Wow, that's actually looking quite nice and professional. I like that. Okay, let's let's check the staging. So those go, those separate, those go, those separate. That goes. Oh, that's going at the same time as. No, 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 no. <laughs> we do not want the parachute going off at the same time again. No. Okay, so that goes, and then we can use that to try and get home as well. And we parachute when we get back in the atmosphere. To maybe I should escape. Right, one thing I am going to do. One more Separatron. Where is it? Decoupler. I know, really, it would be great to, to save all this and to get all the money back, like recover it, but I don't think we can manage. I don't have any landing legs yet. Do I? No. I don't have any. Ooh! <gasps> we could try the Mystery Goo in space! Oh, let's do that. Let's, let's do that. Let's add... Yes, we're going to try the Mystery Goo in space. Okay. Cool. Alright. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling good about this one. Oh, yes. Who's going to... Oh, I think also we're going to fly using a different pilot, if we can. How do we select our pilot? Um, crew. I want to fly Bob, the scientist, because we need science. So let's take... Jebediah out. Jebediah, you've been great, but Bob, Bob, your time to shine. You're not the pilot, and I know this is quite a flying heavy thing, but I really need the science, so we're going to send our scientist into space, I think. Uh, shall we give it a go? Oh, I'm feeling quite scared about it. Let's save this. Oh, okay, firstly, this is the mini Minibug 5, because it is built off the 4, it is an advanced version of the 4. So Miniburg 5 will hopefully get us into space. Let's save this one. Cool. And let's head to the launch pad. Fingers crossed, everybody. Your craft is too heavy. The launch pad cannot support... Oh. We're 22 tons and the launch pad can only hold 18, 18 tons. How are we going to escape the atmosphere then? Interesting. 3.2 tons over. Okay, so we're unable to launch. Okay, so we're too heavy. Right. How to solve this then? Ooh! Idea. Take that off. Okay. And that's going to go there. About symmetrical. There we go. That should do it. Do you think that'll get us into space? It's, we've got one less engine, basically. So, 
We fire... Oh no, that's backwards. Let's put that at the bottom. Right, okay. <laughs> I think I've reordered it now. So, this... Oh my gosh, I've just seen the shape of... <laughs> I'm such a child. Oh, I'm so immature. Anyway. Um, <laughs> we, our first two rockets go. They push us as high as we can go. They eject. The second rocket goes. That ejects. At the same time, our liquid rocket goes. They eject. And then... On our way back, like uh, they they will hopefully carry us into space. These these liquid rockets, and then hopefully on our way back down, we can eject those and safely land with our crew compartment up here, having done all the experiments and stuff. So, uh, I'm a little concerned that this uh, grey goo pot is going to be too much. Where's our little symbols actually? Center of mass. Oh, it is pretty much in the middle then. It's not weighing it over or anything. Center of thrust, straight down, nice. And center of lift. Well, I don't think we have one because we're just a big rocket. <laughs> Fair dues. Good. So we shouldn't topple over. We should be okay. As long as I can control it manually because we don't have any auto help stabilization or anything. That's what we're saving the science for and that's why we're flying. And so let's head to the launch pad if we can. And we're still too heavy. Oh my goodness, we're too heavy by half a ton. Ah, annoying. Okay, um, I could take less fuel into space, so I could swap that for a smaller one. That's our contracts. Craft sats, mass, 17.2. Okay, good, right, we're just under now. So it was a fuel matter. So we've got less fuel now, but hopefully we can still do it. I think we can still get into space. Let's try and leave the atmosphere. Let's. All right, we'll save this again. Save. Let's let's give it a go. We can't use the engine because it's experimental. Oh, that's poop. Again, save. Right now, <laughs> let's try one last time. Here we go. Right, here we are on the launch pad. Our first actual attempt to reach space. To actually head into space where the moon lives and where other planets live this should be epic this should be so good let's let's give it a shot shall we um i believe if i were to lean that way we would begin to sort of head out into sea and perhaps even go into sort of an orbit thing i don't think we have enough power to orbit we just want to get out of the atmosphere so we want this bar to go ding ding ding, ding and get into the black that's what we want um, out of the atmosphere. 60,000 metres, I believe. Oh, I'm, I'm concerned. I am. I'm not sure we're going to do it. And I don't know how to use the goo. Oh, where's the goo gone? Did I take it off? Whoops. All right. Uh, I'm just going to put the goo back on because I seem to have taken it off. Okay, here we are. Back on the launch pad. I've added the goo back. And we're going to give it a go. We're, we're going to try and fly. Oh, nervous. I am quite nervous. So, let's see. Oh, ready. Three, two, one. Launch! Oh, yes. Okay, good start. We're a little heavy, so we're going up quite slowly. Oh, we're, we're falling already. Look, we don't want that. Let's try and straighten up. Can we straighten up? Oh, it's a struggle. I'm struggling. It really wants to fall over. Okay, right. I'm, I'm really struggling to hold it up. We're not going up very well. Oh, they've gone. Let's fire. Oh, 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 oh no. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh no, we're going down. No, it's not going to work. I can't, I can't pick it up. Oh, I think the goo did it. I think... Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. Whoa. Gosh. No, we, we've lost it. We're gone. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, dear. Oh, that was a complete failure. We didn't even do as well as we did previously. Oh, no. Look at that. The, the twizzling stick. <laughs> oh, dear. I can't even control the thing. I can't. No, I can't steady it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't. I really don't know how to get. 
Oh. Ah, oh, never mind. That's, uh, I think I need to take the goo off. I, I think that's what did it. I don't know, I don't know what else could have done it, possibly. Um, spinning out of control. We're going to have to save Mr. Gurman here. Let's get rid of that thing. Oh, crud. We can't. <laughs> we have technically, uh, like, separated, but we're being pushed around by this engine. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. I might just pop the parachute soon and get us separate. Let's do it now. That should pull us away. No, we're stuck! Oh no, we're stuck! Our decoupler failed! Oh no! Oh no! I can't even control the thrust! <laughs> oh, it finally separated! Oh dear, that was a bit scary. Oh, alright, well, um, that didn't go well. <laughs> I, I need to find out why. Um, I'm not sure what I did wrong, but for some reason it just wanted to fly off somewhere. Um, and we lost our goo, and... Oh, it was not good. Oh, it wasn't good at all. Uh, so we're going to splash down. Um, well, I'm going to wait. I'm going to splash it down, and then we'll recover, and we'll see what we can alter. Okay, so... I've popped some nose cones on the side engines, moved them up more into the centre, hoping that will actually help. Ooh, this will be uh, this will be interesting. We're going to run out of money if we keep trying this and failing, but we're going to give it another shot. Pop some winglets on there, maybe that will help stabilise us. Oh gosh, it looks really silly now. Oh gosh, the minibug of five A, like VR. In fact, no, this is enough to call it a six. It's so different. Alright, so Minibug 5 failed. Minibug 6. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can get into the atmosphere this time. I bet we can't. This will be crazy, but we've got to give it a shot. We are under the weight, so... Should work. Okay, cool. Let's give it a shot. And here we are. I've got a terrible feeling it's going to topple over. But either way... <laughs> I don't mind. What I do want to do, though, is... Oh, I, I will learn from it. If this doesn't work... I'll try and learn from it and we'll figure out what's going on. I'll, I'll look up some tips on how to escape the atmosphere, etc, etc. Um, but here we go. Five, four, three, two, two and a bit, one, one and a bit, a little bit less than one, five again, three and go! <laughs> okay, so far we're beginning to topple already. We're already toppling. Oh, 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 no, no, now we're going the other way. Um, right, what is going on here? Why is it doing that? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Something flew up. Quick, parachute. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, all the bits. The landing and exploding and all sorts. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, there goes another bit. Uh, oh, there goes another bit. <laughs> um, I, that was a catastrophic failure. I don't think anything has ever failed quite so hard as that. That was immense. Okay, right. I think we've learned something. Don't make it really top heavy. <laughs> and. Yeah, we, there has to be some other way to do this. We're, we're doing something very wrong. Oh dear. Back to the drawing board, I think. <laughs> oh, Bob Kerman. Poor you. Oh, you're not very good at this, are you? I'm going to get Jebediah back, I think. Yes. Alright, well, we will. I will go back to the drawing board, do a little bit of research, and I will see you all later. Yay, do a little dance, Bob, you survived. Yay. <laughs>